So we got giant insects, we got a creepy haunted house and many guest stairs. Let's talk creep show. Hey there guys and welcome back to Dina Review. So we've made it to the second episode of season two of Creep Show, and I gotta say I enjoy this one for the most part. There are definitely some issues I have with the episode, but honestly I think my expectations were maybe just a bit too high going into it. This episode it feels a little bit more like a filler episode, which you do kind of come to expect with a second season, but I still wish we just got a little bit more. The first story centers around a hotel run by a brother and sister who claim their grandmother was this kind of famous serial killer spinster that's killed many people throughout the years. Now I do enjoy the whole concept of this one. I like what they were doing and where they were going with the story but it does kind of people are out in the second half of it. Ali Larter and Thomas C. Howell actually play the brother and sister and you can tell both of them are having an absolute blast with the material they're given. Now the script it's not great, it's not the best script I've seen in, in a lot of these creep show episodes but with Ali Larter in particular and Thomas C. Howell they definitely elevate the entire thing because they are really good actors because they know kind of what they're doing it does kind of help the overall story quite a bit. Ali Larter in particular you know as I said she is having a ball in this one you can tell in the second half she goes quite a bit crazy and she just kind of gives it her all. She Her character kind of loses her mind and goes batshit insane and Ali Larter is there having the time of her life. As for Thomas C. Howell he doesn't have too much to do in the story he really doesn't really get good material until maybe the last five to ten minutes but even when he gets that he grips it and he goes all in with it. I enjoyed seeing both of them what I will say with this story if they weren't on screen if we didn't have these actors I might not have enjoyed the story quite as much. Now as well as that we also kind of have this social media influencer who comes to the hotel promoting it and really to kind of leave a review. The problem is with the brother and sister they're not really getting any customers and what they're actually doing is scaring their customers away. So they kind of have these pranks that they pull on people staying in the, in the hotel. They're kind of these pranks that honestly just look silly, they look really dumb and you it does kind of take you out of the story because you don't know how they're getting away with it, how anyone would actually think a serial killer lived here. As well as that there's no really records of this granny spinster killing these people so all of it does tend to fall apart really quick. Now I did actually enjoy the interactions they have with this social media influencer so she kind of goes through the house and she constantly debunks all of these stories that they have going. Now before we know it things take a turn and she is actually the one in danger. So I liked the twist towards the end of the movie. I definitely did see it coming. It's hard not to see it coming as you're watching it, but it definitely does kick things into gear. The second half gets a lot faster. There's a lot more going on and there's just a lot more to do with the story. The second story I actually enjoyed quite a bit more is centers around a character played by Josh McDermott, who's this pest exterminator. And he's actually approached by a very mysterious man played by Keith David. Now Keith David's character he pretty much wants to eradicate and get rid of what he considers the worst pests of all time, the homeless. And that's what I liked about this one, it was a really interesting question of really how far this character would actually go and how he would live with the guilt. Josh McDermott definitely gives a great performance in this one. I know him myself from The Walking Dead so I honestly just know how good of an actor he is. But for me the main star of the story was Keith David. So he kind of plays this almost Satan like character that is just going around and getting people to commit these horrible heinous acts. I loved his performance in the movie it was definitely the strongest in the overall episode and you were glued to what he was going to do next. We also have Ashley Lawrence from the Hellraiser series making an appearance. I enjoyed seeing her on screen. I was delighted that she got to be in one of these episodes but I also wish they actually kept her for a different story. I just didn't like her character in this one. I didn't really gel with the character and I didn't think she fit into the overall story. Now it is kind of revealed at some point that she does fit into it but for me I could have left without that. I liked seeing Ashley Lawrence on screen but again look I just wish she had her own story rather than being roped into this one as a bit player. The story also has quite a lot of fun practical effects. We have giant spiders, we have giant insects and we have a lot of gore. I enjoyed it. I think the, the, the story actually took quite a bit of a campy turn in the last part of it that I just didn't see coming but it was a welcome surprise 
all the same. The practical effects were great. It was hilarious. It was over the top and just very creep show. Overall though, this story was average, just like the rest of the episode. It wasn't something I didn't enjoy, but it also wasn't something I loved. I think going into this one, maybe my expectations were just a bit too high because of how great that first episode was, but I still enjoyed it for the most part. But guys, if you've seen episode two of season two of Creep Show, make sure guys, you let me know your thoughts on the episode. Remember guys, if you want, you can of course subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this one, click any of those links down below and I will see you in the next one.